What's up, y'all? My name is Devin, the DIY Lawn Coach. Hope you're having a great day. Well, guys, I am super excited today. Uh, number one, because I get to spend some time in the lawn. Number two, uh, I've got a buddy of mine that we're gonna go over and help him aerate and overseed his lawn today. They purchased a new home. I wanted to offer to help him overseed and aerate his lawn. He doesn't really know a whole lot about taking care of his lawn, so I'm gonna help him do that. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna load the truck up with a whole bunch of uh, stuff, equipment, and we're gonna head over to his house. Super excited to help him out. Reached out to Alan Hain. He even threw in a bag of fertilizer, some starter fertilizer, so thank you so much, Alan. We really appreciate it. We've got a 45 pound bag of Yard Mastery starter fertilizer that we're gonna throw down as well. Huge shout out to Alan, thank you so much. Let's load the truck up, let's get on the road, and let's get to work. Alright guys, so we made it and we are ready to get to work. So a little bit of backstory. Uh, as you know, anytime we are getting ready to aerate and overseed, uh, the first step I had him do was lower the height of cut. And so right now I think he lowered his deck down to about two inches, which is perfect because we need to make sure we get good room for that grass seed to be able to hit the ground. He has a really, um, I know the, the lawn is kind of brown, that's just from the scalping that he did yesterday. But I'd say roughly this yard is about 50% good grass and 50%, you know, junk, right? So different weeds, crabgrass, and all that stuff. So um, we'll worry about the crabgrass and all that stuff next spring. But right now we're going to aerate and overseed and we're going to really thicken up what is there. So again, scalp the grass. I can, you know, kind of see down to the soil, which is exactly what we want. He's been lowering his height of cut over the last couple of weeks. Um, and did a really good job getting up all the clippings, so that's gonna make today go a whole lot better. So let's hook up the mower and let's get to plugging. Let's go. All right, so we have started plugging. And I wanna turn the camera around and show you guys kind of what we're looking for. Come in here and you see the hole in the ground. That's what we're looking for. We can get almost our full, you know, full finger down. So he's just going to go and just kind of Daytona 500 style, just poke a bunch of holes. You know, we're getting a good core. We've gotten, again, we just got a, quite a bit of rain, but good looking core. Again, you can see the surface of the ground. We're going to get a really nice seating here. Looking great. We're just going to go after it. he finishes up we are going to start getting the seed ready so we have 10,000 square feet we're going to be putting out about five pounds per thousand of grass seed something that he picked up at a local uh, tool and, and seed shop here and actually it's pretty good let me show you what the seed blend looks like so it says Carolina all-purpose blend all right so basically it's just three different types of uh, tall fescue 90% germination, which is pretty good. I like to see the other crop at 0.1, so not bad. Inert matter, not bad. No weed seeds, no noxious weeds. So, to be honest, it's a pretty dadgum good seed. Let's get to work. Let's 
So people always ask, what spreader setting? Well, this bag of grass seed doesn't tell me anything about a spreader setting. So what I'm gonna do is probably set this on um, maybe 12 or 15, see how the grass seed's coming out. But at the end of the day, the goal here is I've gotta get this 50 pounds of bag of grass seed evenly spread out over the entire lawn. How fast, doesn't really matter. Again, we just wanna go for an even coverage. So I'm just gonna kinda of pay attention to how it's coming out. And we're gonna get this spread out evenly. So that just about does it for this video. I know it's a little bit different, but uh, it was a lot of fun helping him out. Uh, I've given him watering instructions, and that is honestly probably the hardest part is making sure you keep up with the watering. So temperatures here are gonna kind of cool off, so that'll help him out. But I've told him to water at least three or four times a day, you know, five or 10 minutes at a time, gotta keep the ground wet. I'll bring you guys back in maybe a month or so, and we'll look at the results. So my name is Devin, the DIY Lawn Coach. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure you support Yard Mastery and the guys that make all of this possible for us DIYers. I'll see you guys later. Peace.